Hey, what's up guys? This is BNB and a new learning tutorial. This time we will play a bit with an important electronic device, which is the L298 motor driver and how to use it with the Arduino board. So let's get started. As always, I make this project presentation where I collect some information from the internet about the components that we will use in this tutorial. So starting with the technical data of the circuit, it's nothing more than a full bridge driver, I mean a dual H bridge driver, this is a monolithic circuit with a power SO20 package or a 15 leads multiwatt package and it's obvious that we will use the 15 leads package since it's what we have in our module driver. It's a high voltage high current dual 4 bridge driver designed to accept standard TTL logic levels and drive inductive leads such as relays, solenoids, DC and stepping motors. Two enable inputs are provided to enable or disable the device independently of the input signals. An additional supply input is provided so that the logic works at a lower voltage. Here is the circuit description. Drive a power supply from 5 to 46 volt. Drive a peak current of 2 amps. Logic power output from 5 to 7 volt and these are the most important points. About the module pins description, it has four output screw terminal connectors where you can connect two DC motors or one stepper motor. There is also a screw terminal connector for external power supply. So if you want to have 5 volt DC from your external power supply, you can have it from the 5 volt screw heater connector by putting this jumper as long as your power source is equal or less than 12 volt DC. About the inputs, we have 6 pins to control this module. If you are controlling a stepper motor, so you should put these jumpers of the enable inputs. And if you are controlling DC motors, then there is 3 pins to control each out screw terminal. So here is an example. We have out 1 and out 2, control it by enable 1 and pins in 1 in 2. To control speed, we will use the enable pin where we will send a PWM signal from our Arduino board and to control direction of the motor, we will use pins in 1 and in 2. The schematic of this tutorial is so basic. I will use an Arduino Nano board to control a DC motor speed and direction through the full bridge driver. About the spinning speed, I will use a potentiometer to make an analog signal for the speed control. So let's start by preparing the circuit. Here is my L298 driver that I've got from UT Source Web Store where you can get yours too for the cheapest price. The delivery service of this web store makes it highly recommended for electronic sales. You can find all the related links in the description down below. So just check the link because there is a lot of cool stuff out there. As I said, I'm using an Arduino Nano in this tutorial and also a potentiometer. About the motor, I will use the heaviest one I have. 24 volt DC is needed to run this motor, so I will use an external 25 volt power adapter and for sure I should remove the 5 volt DC jumper. About the Arduino code, the task is so simple. All what we will use is the analog read function to get the analog signal from the potentiometer and then convert it into PWM signal and send it through the output using analog write function. Digital write function is also needed to control the motor direction which will be controlled using the serial monitor of Arduino IDE. So when I write left, the motor spin to the left direction and the opposite for the right direction. Now we upload the code and we test it. As you see guys, here is the motor following the instructions received from the serial monitor to spin in both directions. Left for left spinning and right for right spinning. And also, when we turn the potentiometer, the motor speed increases and decreases depending on our control movements.
That's it for this tutorial. I will post another one to show you how to use the same driver module to control a stepper motor. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BMB from Megadas. See you next time.